Hello and welcome back to another episode of Engineer Alex Farming and today I'm going to remove the input shaft housing of this tractor. This is a massive Ferguson 590 with I don't know how many hours. Um, I want to replace or oh, remove this input housing and therefore I have to pull out this shaft which engages the clutch and therefore I had to remove the fuel tank or move the fuel tank to to get uh, the shaft out of the housing because there is a long lever uh, onto the shaft which not allows me to move outside but I guess I've got no, uh, enough space to to wiggle that shaft out of the housing okay and that's today I am going to uh, dismantle this massive Ferguson multi-power input uh, shaft housing. This is very MF specific. So I cleaned it all up because I don't like dirty parts. It was all over with oil and 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 dust and debris and looks pretty ugly. And now we'll um, dismantle this piece. I will. Um, I'll clip this uh, snap ring here and then this whole whole assembly should fall apart. Okay, snap ring is down. Ah, and there it goes. Here it comes. Okay, there we go. And I will replace this the seal here. And insert here. In this shaft, in this hollow shaft, there is also a, a seal, which I am going to replace. Ah. Big screwdriver. And it's working. Yeah, and the seal is definitely brittle. Yeah. Okay. Clean out the area here.
that's it. New seal is in. Yes, this doesn't look so bad. Okay. That's for the housing. And now I will think I can remove this seal inside there. But that's the next clip. So now the challenge is to get this o ring here out. The inside is an o ring. Okay, I made this hook here with an old screwdriver. Let's try this one here. I don't have enough pulling force. Okay. Here comes the feather. <coughs> and the tool. Built myself a tool. With this, I think I could smack the shit out. Ah, it's coming. Yo, that's it. Soccer came out. There you go. Son of a bitch. So, the seal has been removed with the 
proper tools, or proper, mine was pretty primitive, but it was effective. With the pro proper tools, nothing is hard, and nothing is difficult. Okay, now I will install the new one. I will clean this up and lubricate it. And then I will tap the new seal in. This is the little lowering fits here, and with this I could tap it in. Seal is in place in the housing. So. There's a new seal. Project accomplished. Very nice. Okay. Next step will be look. I will replace this these rings here, this these are actually making the shaft pressure tight. Got two new new ones, and then I will put the the um, the housing back onto this where I got also a new O-ring. Ah, uh, not an O-ring, a, a shaft seal. Fits right on here. Yes, and then I guess I'm ready for for the final assembly. Okay. Yes, and hopefully, oh no, I've got to overhaul also the spooler valve, put the new O-ring in, but. That's that's not a big deal. That was a big deal, but mission has been accom accomplished. Yeah.